Greetings from Maine. So I'm on vacation for the 4th of July with my family. And since it's the week of the 4th, I thought I would share a simple little flat cake recipe with you all. Now this recipe is one that my mom has been doing for years. Nearly every single 4th of July, we've actually had this. And it's just become a fan favorite in my household. And that's why I want to share it with you all and hopefully it becomes something that you all can enjoy as well. Now this recipe is so simple and it's comprised of only four ingredients and it's no bake. Plus it has some fruit, so it's kind of healthy, right? <laughs> what you'll need is pound cake and we just use this Sara Lee one. This is one that we've used for years and years, so why fix what ain't broke? But you can certainly make the pound cake yourself if you'd like. However, we really enjoy this one. And then we use Cool Whip or Cool Whip. <laughs> And then we also use fresh blueberries and strawberries for this recipe as well. So I have my trusty country style enameled pan that I'll be using, and luckily it's blue and white, so it's festive. First I'm slicing the pound cake, making sure each piece is about a half of an inch thick. These pieces then go into the pan in really no particular way. I tend to do a layering effect to them in the pan, just making sure each part is kind of covered. Once the pound cake is in, I'm just taking the Cool Whip and adding a generous layer to the top. I just finished up washing my produce, and then I'm just setting the blueberries aside, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the strawberries up. Generally, I just have the strawberries and put it on the cake. However, because I don't have that many strawberries that ended up being good, despite it being strawberry season, um, I'm working with what I got, so I'm gonna do a different sort of cut. So basically I'm just going to go ahead and cut thinner pieces of the strawberry, like so, to get more out of the ones that I have. I'm going to start in the upper left hand corner and fill that in with blueberries. Just like the American flag, I'm gonna make sure that there are red stripes at the top and the bottom of this cake. There isn't enough space to do all 13 stripes, however, I'm just gonna do my best. And it'll look pretty good as long as I have the red here and the red at the bottom. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.